Good morning, everybody, Ed. Welcome back to Me, You, and Taxes version 3.0, The Path to Modernity, here with the Kingdom of Hungary. We do need a new general for our primary army, the Niger Hadzerig, and that will be Istvan Reve, based in Pest. Our army of the frontier in Rabba is training or drilling, sorry, they will also drill. As it is July of 1414, we are about ready to get a diplomatic technology unlocked. Coming off of the war, where we did take uh, Dukla, Kervunia, and Hume, although the Ottomans also did take Ragusa and some other territories as well, so we have shell bit ships. Uh, as the cog reaches the structural limits, ship weight Rights cast about for larger designs that can carry more cargo. The Hulk was a river boat developed in the Low Countries. Shell boat with crooks of timber to reinforce it. It could be much longer, than, built much larger than a cog. Naval force seven modifier plus two percent. We also get trade trade range fifty. We enable, enables the Hulk, the Gao, and the Junk. Enables the Latin sailed caravel. Enables the Ballinger. Enables the Sabuk. Enables the Batella and enables the trading junk. We are also close now to getting the ends of the court in our admin technology, which is lagging behind the rest of our technologies. We are suffering the effects of plague in many of our provinces, so that is something that is kind of ongoing. You can see here in Bosda we have the bubonic plague, we're not recovering right now. Um, nobody has died yet, which is good. Um, up here in Slavonia, 3.4 thousand people died. X looks like they have recovered. We also have given an Usora. They are recovering from the aftermath. 1.2 thousand people died. There, 379,000 died there in Trina. 1.2 thousand people died in Laika. So. Again, there's just an awful lot of deaths, unfortunately, um, and recovery over here in Siebenbergen. 51% uh, of the people have immunity. Our stability points at 12% or 10% now. He knew is the seat of New Cardinal. He is loyal to Burgundy. And we are into January of 1415. Our state corruption is 25, our bureaucratic corruption is 52%. We have 29 prestige, 15 power projection under legitimacy, plus two stability, 8,100 men, uh, 100 naval, and 1,371 ducats, where we are currently making 4.14 monthly. We are still working on a couple of conversions. Severin. Um, I would say this time or maybe the next time for sure we will finally convert them to following the Pope based in Avignon. Um, uh, the mercenary companies are now unavailable. So our throughput for the shipping industry goes up by 7% a year basically. Wow, we, we just lost a lot of income, but I would imagine that's primarily because we have a lot of provinces that have tax relief due to the plague and its aftermath. At least that's what I would think, because otherwise I don't know why we lost so much money.
We are going to lose point ten legitimacy, lose ten legitimacy, lose ten diplo points because we're going to disown a popular, re unpopular relative. A ruling family is a shortage of extended relatives, each with their own enemies, many of whom are notable power brokers and prominent nobility. Disowning the most detested is a simple yet influential way to win over new loyalists. Plus nine relations between aristocrats and the state, 25% progress towards stability, and 7.5% or plus 7.5 noble loyalty, which brings nobility loyalty up to 40%. Now, that had dropped due to the fact that we had um, leveraged the elites when it came to battling corruption. We do have four rebel factions, 0% the Avignon fanatics, 50% Serbian separatists, 25% these are Romanesca separatists, and 10% Vojinovic Separatists. You know, for a good while, I feel like our wars of aggression and expansion are going to be over. Um, the Ottomans may very well attack me. They may not. I, I, I don't know, but... We are up to 13% state reap. Uh, the Papal Cockleave has elected Zistus, um, who is an Avignon Pope. June of 1416 will be when we get the ends of the court, supposedly. We are not ahead in our technologies. The Ottomans are at 19, 18, and 19. The Austrians are at 22, 21, and 22. The Poles are at 18, 21, and 20. Ooh. Poland's at war with Muscovy. Well, the Danish Muscovite War. Okay, so that's why the Poles didn't call us in because it wasn't their war. The tax relief will last until 1423, so we, we've got a while, right? We, we do have a while. Um, in Kranya and Danji Kraji, we are trying to improve the communication. You can see Path the Basic Road Selector in Bosnia is already at level 2. It's already at level two here in Laika, although it's just got average communicated. So one thing we are, I do want to do is I want to go in and I'm, we're going to do a census. Dovo was leading the census. So food, 246 and 209. We need a lot of salt. Fiber, we need some fuel. We're fine on raw. Uh, luxury, we could use some. Consumer goods, we don't have enough of. Military, we don't have enough of. Naval, we don't have enough of. Industrial, we're fine. Knowledge we're fine and commerce we don't need. So I want to salt, fuel, exotics, luxury, consumer, military, and naval.
So we have rock salt up here. The negative 32% profitability. Which I don't really understand because, as we have discovered, a spy network from Naples. So I like that, right? We're going to be 20 units of salt short. But then at the same time, we're going to have zero profitability for it. I mean, that... Paris is now the seat of a new cardinal. He's the old of France. We're in January of 1416. So here's the game is buffering. Like... That doesn't make sense. We have no salt. We are desperately short of salt in Hungary. But yet... Hey, we have an institution. We can embrace commercialization. Uh, yearly inflation reduction negative 0 0.01. Interest per annum 0.1. It will cost 315 ducats. Which did lower the cost of ends of court. With the development of lawsuits to solve private disputes, came an increasing need for lawyers to be educated in laws of the nation. The first such schools were called ends of court. Interesting. Administration efficiency plus two. So, but we did embrace commercialization. It doesn't say when it was embraced, but we did embrace it. So, we are also spending 1.12 monthly uh, knowledge sharing, which, when that expires, I don't know if we'll restart. We have become one of the great powers. The rest of the world shall tremble at the sound of our might, and the glory of Hungary shall soar above the new horizons far and wide. New diplomatic actions are available. Knowledge sharing from Austria and Hungary has been terminated. Yep, not quite. Not quite. Very, very close, but just... The next turn, we will actually be able to convert them. For 5.36 ducats monthly. I like this. Is it because we're a world power? I mean... Again, I'm sure there's other ways we could be making more and more money, but... I don't hate making 5.6. 3 or 3.6, sorry. But what I do uh, don't still don't understand exactly is why the heck sea salt is having such a hard time fighting profitability. We don't have any of this stuff. Or we don't have any salt. Right? So we have the communions are leading unrest there. So, no, I don't want to send this special map modes. Right, so Kozlos, Skazerod, and Perhova, as well as Uzerod and Usora, all have potential rock salt.
plus 120% there. Really? Okay, well, do we have the population? We do. All right. We'll put 10 ducats in for user odd. Preova. Rock salt. Negative 53%. Okay. Usora plus 81.9%. Do how much mighty do we have available? We have a decent amount. So we will put 10 ducats worth of investment in there. Rock salt is negative 34.6% profitability. Interesting. Negative 46. So the two provinces we have that have the most rock salt available are both awful. We look at autonomy. Uh, take a screenshot. It is starting to get a little bit better, although our manpower is not necessarily reflecting that. Uh, religiously, again, you can see where the Avadiadists are and the Catholics are. Um, France, Spain, and then Austria, Hungary, essentially, although we do have Italy, a lot of the German duchies, England, Ireland, um, and Italy are all, and Portugal are all Catholic still. So it'll be interesting um, if and when, right, the, uh, nation comes together. So we have Feel, there we go. Um, I don't know. Fuel price. Red to yellow to green, five colors. Whoops, it's in January of 1417. I don't know if, uh, you know, I don't know if fuel price is the right thing. Burgos is now the seat of New Cardinal. So let's see, like. Timber does fuel. Right. Um. Mercenary companies are now available. Serbian separatists are at 80%. 6 97 ducats we're making. I mean, I love this. I love the fact that we're making more and more money. Kozlos, I'm sure, is not converted. 
Yeah, I... Our main army will have to deal with them, I think. Um... We did a new special map mode. Coal, coal deposit. All my own provinces, absolute linear, red to yellow to green, five colors, there we go. Right, because coal can be used for fuel as well. Sixty two percent profitability there. And Q. Doesn't have any actually. Interesting. Same there. And pecs. Okay, so. Wow, we don't have any. We don't have any other coal mines. Okay. Do we have a population? Uh, not much. We've got two peasants. Okay. So. There, minus people there. They have a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot of people here. A lot of clergy. A lot of, pe okay, they have even more peasantry up here. And they have, right, they have coal and they have wine. Now, I'm curious. Okay, so wine is already being produced. All right. Okay, here you can choose to open up a new industry in your provinces. When you do that, a new industry will be immediately added in your selected province if it has less than 16 industries in total. You cannot remove an industry that is added unless that industry is reduced to a size smaller than 0.05. The provinces will remain selected afterwards. A point of note, each industry that is effectively open will cost five ducats. I think they also had 
Yes. And they also have pull. So we've opened two new coal mine industries. Because... Oh, right. Sorry, there we go. Well, fuel is actually pretty close. Raw, wow, we're actually... Wow. That's changed. So exotics... Um, we still don't have. Okay, luxury, you are still low. Consumer, we're low. Interesting. So... Salt, we're still low, but fuel, we're now pretty much even. Fiber, we're still ahead. Raw, we're way ahead. Okay, that's interesting. Um, yeah, that's... Exotics, I guess. Do we have any exotic good production? Go absolute linear, red, yellow, green. Because we, we, we don't have, there is no empire anymore, that's right. So, we are a great power, the Ottomans are a great power, the Timurids. Our Cheka Ulus is a great power. Uh, the French. Okay, well that's Austria, sorry. And then Spain, or slash Castile, okay. And manpower wise, yeah, we're we're not. It's basically the northwestern part of the country. But let's see, do we have anywhere that has exotic production in my territory? Supposedly we do. Wow. Yeah, I, I don't feel like that's a good map mode. But anyways, moving on. Severin is finally Avignonist. For Hova, one of the places we can... It is not. Okay, so... We discovered a spy network from Naples. If we're the lad, is more... State reaches also up to 14%. 
There it is. All right. 50,000. Okay, it's fairly close. We'll go there. How is our ship? It's up to 70%. Negative 13% profitability. So if we look at our industry though, the ship outputs naval goods. We are getting closer and closer in terms of, uh, oh boy. Uh, the nation of Poland, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the Polish conquest of Vilskis against the Teutonic Order. This is a war that they have started, allied with Olderberg. We will send our frontier army. With only 7,000 troops, but our main army, we still have the Serbian separatists. We don't want any of their territory, so we are going to go with severe looting. Well, and I guess that's also true, because we have the junior partner with Austria, so they will come and aid us in our quest. Um, I cannot do another anti-corruption campaign till 1421. Venice expands trading privileges abroad. No real surprise there. Oh, God. We're getting attacked. We're going to lose, yes. The Battle of Tuchel we lost. I was looking at potentially fabricating a claim on Venice and was not paid attention. Tribuna, Hume uh, are all part of our Dominion. We now have a new idea we could have. Don't know why my army What's going on? Why can't I move him? Can't move him for some reason or another. It would be Pat the Victory, morale of RB would increase by 7.5%. Actually, I think I'm gonna to go to level 21. So I don't need military access, but that army apparently is locked. Okay, so now it's no longer locked. So it just needed to have a certain amount of manpower, apparently. Hey, we, but you can't, the Poles can't say we didn't fight in the war, because, you know, we did. We did fight well, but we fought. So these provinces now have decent communication, which is something going to help with, you know, autonomy. We're not yet. Well, sorry, I accidentally closed down that we're at war, which we obviously know. Bird is now the seat of New Cardinal, it's now 1418.
We need 395 to get our military power up to level 21. The office of the Lord Admiral. Poor Ted, and then obviously cheap paper as well. Muscovy is no longer a valid rival for me. We are going to try to send our RV back to Tuchel. Um, truce with Lithuania will expire. I wonder why... Dukla is now part of our patrimony. So we no longer have any overextension, which is big. Oops, oops, oops. We are about ready to lose our stability. So we will provide full grade provisions to the commoners because we don't want to do that, obviously. You know, I, one of the things I don't believe I've ever done in any Miu attacks is, is play long enough for the unit skin to uh, change. I really wish I could understand why... That does not change, but... Ship is starting to become a little bit of profitable now as our crew puts up to 73%. Um, income is down to 6.07, unfortunately, but find this spy network from Rumineska. A lot is more is now Avadiotis. I know that we could do another What was I going to say? Conversion. I don't know if I will right now. Is our negative a hundred percent profitability for coal? Nice. So we are going to actually take Kuchel. Uh, if we look at our influences, our aristocrats are at 71%. That is just... That's awful. Um, the birth of Husitism in Bohemia. Reduce the spy network in Moldovia. Yeah, we do need to... What if we
we're going to promote this spiritualist faction. The spiritual realm can only be guided by a select few of those who understand the divine connections that bind humanity and the power greater than themselves. To further their interest is to expand the domain of the spiritual to the greatest extent of the temporal world to enshrine the importance of spirituality and the divine. Supporting the clergy is a matter of faith, yet also more often than not an issue of resource and finance. With greater ties and further protection, the clergy can support their missions in the temporal realm and expand the extent of their influence. Spiritual influence goes up by 0.2, increased interval goes down by 5%. The clergy will become five times more loyal. And that's big because while the nobility loyalty is at 42%, they now only have 50 influence. So. So by codifying the titles of the court, be taking down negative point ten state corruption. So this would be big. So to open diplomatic service to all courtiers, uh, we would lose 0.25 state corruption, which, you know, right now we're at 0.22 every year. If we arrange a strategic marriage, all right, that'll give us 25% progress towards stability, not less nine relations between the aristocrats and the state, and we'll gain seven and a half for loyalty. And we're doing that because we are going to Don't want to do that. So we have minimal obligations for noble dudes. Noble service. Again, it has to do with manpower. All right. So I'll let that reset because we are going to do the emissaries because, again, corruption costs money to battle corruption. So we don't want to have it get out of control. So we do have 5,000, we have won the Siege of Tuchel, and we have 5,000 Serbian separatists under Nikola Petrovich. And the Battle of Podud Valley. I apologize, as always, for any all mispronunciations. Minimals. 
stack wipe them here. It said Vive is now Master of Arms, Infantry, Caliban, Ability goes up by 10%. The Ottomans... Oh, Tunis, that's sorry, not the Ottomans. Um... We are going to recall our Army of the Frontier. Ob der Ed is the seat of a Cardinal, he is loyal to Austria, they have four Cardinals now. Or four active cardinals, I should say. Padua announced Venice as a new rival. Padua de Logier considers Friar a rival and Costanzo won Lordan, it rose to a throne in Padua. Does that mean we need a... Nope. We will work on improving our relations with Padua, though. 7.25... I mean, I love the buddy. The buddy is awesome. I've never made this much money at ever any point in me you in taxes. Uh, almost a hundred percent throughput on the shipping. Not quite, but almost. We, uh, we invested in mines here, so I don't know what that's about. Interesting. Plus 300 and... Yeah, we'll invest in more mines there. Plus three hundred and fifty-three percent. That that's something. Yeah, I don't understand why I'm not. I'll and try doing ten ducats in favor bar again. As I'm not entirely sure why I was not able to open mines there, but that's a lot. 300, for the, you know, that's a lot. So we did fight for the Poles. We lost the battle that we eventually helped occupy some more of the Teutonic Order. We are trying to improve relations with Padua. We are trying to, where is our... Uh, how much do we need to fabricate claims? 40. So we need a claim of 40. And to be honest, what I would do is I would give Trevixo and then, well, Venixia, also part of Venice. You know, both of those I would give to Padua. Because if I could create a strong Padua, though well, Venice does have Crete, that would give me a strong ally, uh, you know, again, a stronger ally on the Italian peninsula would not be a bad thing. Alright, so their loyal, their influence is going up. Yeah, they are still orthodox. Let's 
So we're working on the idea of religious unity. We're not there yet. And we will also piss off our nobles here. By coming in here and opening the diplomatic services to all churchers. All right, we'll get one more diplomat. We'll lose 0.5 diplomatic reputation, negative 10% improved relations modifier, plus 0.25 base, negative 0.25 base hierarchy, negative 0.25 those state corruption. We'll lose 25 admin and diplo points, and we'll lose 50 military. And negative 35 relations between the aristocrats and the state, and negative 40 loyalty. So we now have 10% nobility loyalty. I will lose 5 Diplo and I'll lose 117.28 ducats. I'll gain 5 prestige. We'll gain 25% progress towards stability. 10 relations between the aristocrats and the state. And we will gain 5 nobility loyalty back. Invite proud members of the greater nobility to court for a grand celebration of the realm's stability, promoting it, providing an opportunity to discuss important matters with key loyalists. So we will do that as well. But the big thing there, again, is getting rid of prestigious diplomacy. Because that will greatly So Poland won the conquest of Bielska. Uh, we have too few rivals now. Mm. Say the Mamluks could be our new rival. We have we looted 596 ducats. 74.5 was taken to arrest. We spent 172 and we lost 5,400 men. Again, severe looting, you know, does have its advantages. And again, we didn't want any of that territory. Poland now has sea access. Again, they are pushing the Teutonic Order around a little bit. That's very nice to see. We now have a third diplomat. To be honest, I'm not sure exactly how to use, but... You know what we're going to do? We're going to put our king, now that our son is 13 and is basically old enough to assume the throne if our king were to die. We're not saying we're hoping for, but, you know, could happen. Um, we'll keep taxation as is. Because we don't... So Zygizvon will come in there, and then Istavad will come down there. They are allied with... They are Avignonist in terms of beat up. You know, supporting the Avignon Pope, which is nice. Um, but, and they are at 22 military technology. They're allied with Ikea, the Knights Hospitaller. Seven point six nine ducats monthly.
386 is what we need militarily. But that is where we're going to wrap up today's episode. March 1420. Things are going very well, I feel like, at the moment. Uh, do we actually have our coal mine here, finally? No, like, they just don't seem to want to go to work. There, but I guess it's okay. Isn't it? I don't know. Death of a major player. The aristocrats have lost a renowned figurehead, a respected figure within the faction. Their death has damaged the power of the aristocrats, leaving them without his network of contacts and influence. He's a respected figure. They will lose 10 influence yearly. Their loyalty is up to 17%. Can we do any other modifiers to try to... No. Okay. Your volley is now. We've lost a bunch of cardinals, apparently. Uh... Okay, so France wants us to join their war. The nation of France, your faithful ally, is requesting that you come to their aid in the French reconquest of Guiana against the English, Borgon, Wells, Brittany, and Portugal. France's allies are us, Scotland, Avignon, and Utrecht. Where? The War of what? Oh, it's right there. Yeah. Well, we have to support the French. Oh, well, I guess we didn't have to support the French, but... They're only at 19 technology. The, yeah, the British are at 22. That's not good. Anyways, um, that's where we're going to be ending our episode here in 1420. Uh, we do unfortunately have a couple of large separatist movements, so we're not going to move our royal army. Um, We'll try to recruit one more unit of infantry. Scotland has already accepted peace, so that did not last very long. Austria is at war with England. They are just hanging out, though. Again, we will go for severe looting once again. And yeah, I, I do love this ga this mod of this game so much. It is hard for me to just sign off because, you know. Well, I don't know what Austria is doing. They're supposed to be at war with England, but they're just hanging out. I don't know if they're waiting for me and if it's like a military access issue. I don't know. There we go. Austria is finally... They, they heard me talking. I mean, probably not, but, you know. We're coming, France. And that's... Now we will end today's episode. So, thank you to anybody, everybody, for watching. I will be back again in the future, hopefully. I hope you're all doing well, and I will talk to you all later.